Debbie Johnson from 90 Day Fiancé has broken her silence on her boyfriend Tony's tattoo, which fans think was inspired by the Stasi of Croatian fascist and terrorist organization active before and during World War II. According to Debbie, Tony's family is from Croatia, which is an absolutely gorgeous country. She added, Tony is the least racist person I know and claimed it does not now or ever has been a Nazi symbol, referring to the tattoo. Debbie wants critics to go back to school because she thinks Tony is not a radical or anything like that. She has also written, he loves a country it's beautiful and Nazis were removed from that country decades ago. The words Evo Zora, Evo Zdana, also tattooed on Naya Day Fiancé saw Tony's lower back, were brought up by fans who claim it translates to Here Comes the Dawn, Here Comes the Day, and is a Croatian marching song first used by the fascist Ustasa. However, 90 Day Fiancé cast member Debbie has added, by the way, it's a flag, not a Nazi marching song, to a fan who's called out Debbie's new man. After reading Debbie's replies, Skipina 123 who themselves are from Croatia, shared a GIF of the Croatian flag to explain that the flag has to start with red. They spoke about how if the flag starts with white, it has a completely different meaning and ideology. He knew what he was tattooing and meaning behind it, they shared. Viewer Irian G posted his is not the Croatian coat of arms. It is the Stasi one which were Nazi allies in Croatia who killed hundreds of Serbs and Jews. Moreover, Naya Day Fiancé's Debbie saying that Tony is the least racist person she knows is also a strange thing to say because it could mean that she knows more than one racist person and is comparing Tony to them.